Coming from the Valley, Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Blake Suniga with our analysts Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, and we're ready to roll. And now a quick check of our starting lineups showing us who will hit the floor first. the mercury off the tip and here's Tarasi pass to Turner Reiner Turner with the ball six on the shot clock and here's Diana Tarasi from the arc Diane Parker grabs the miss Atlanta with the ball outside back to Gray Parker with the screen lets it go from the wing Jefferson pulls it in you just assume she's going to knock those down when she's as open as she was there well as an original 1997 franchise the Mercury didn't have a ton of success early on however they won their first title in 2007 year 11 of the WNBA she had her head on a swivel and was able to still pick out the pass and get the assist. Gray outside. Coffee defended by Turner. Now here's Coffee. She's guarded closely. It's good, and she makes her first shot of the game. And for this Mercury organization, that 2007 championship team was really memorable. And Blake, it's not just that they won it all, it's how they did it. Even the league in scoring by nine points a game, playing at the fastest pace, running opponents off the floor, just a memorable style of basketball. Gray with it. Outside Parker, pass to Jones. Spins. Now Gray. Parker with the screen. The three. Gray, no good. Unhindered going all the way. And here's Onion Wade. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. And she gets it to go. The quality trip down the floor. Onion Wayne providing the assist to a very open teammate. Jones outside. Howard. Takes the 13-footer. That one a little long. Phoenix in the lead. Now Jefferson. Diana Taurasi on the wing. Pass to Turner. The basket good off the assist from Diana Taurasi. The wily vet, Taurasi. Incredible court vision. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Now here's Gray. Parker with the screen. Oh. Foul call that time on the way up. And that will be for two chances at the well, a little contact is the least of Parker's worries. She doesn't mind playing physical. It's her first trip to the line. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. Misses, so she splits the free throws. And Parker is an intelligent player. Someone that plays to her strengths very well. And Atlanta has possession. It's a five-point game. Pass to Howard. Down to five on the shot clock. Takes it from ten. Yep, that Alicia one goes. Gray. Well, quite simply, Alicia Gray is a bucket. So 
she'll find ways to score all over the floor. Here's Turner. Now here's Griner. Diana Taurasi on the wing. Guarded by Jones. Jefferson outside. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get it off in time. And Atlanta has possession. They trail by three. Inside, here's Goffey. Mercury with the rebound. That's a surprise. Out of character for her to miss those when the D's not right in her face. In her first five WNBA seasons, Nia Coffey played in five different cities. Despite all that, Coffey's been a great three-point shooter and pretty solid on the glass as well. Clock at six. Pass to Griner. Over Parker. And it's wide right, hits off the rim. Atlanta with the ball. Gray outside. Coffey outside. Back to Gray. Howard. Here's Jones. She nails it, and we're tied up. And learning to adjust to new surroundings, Nia Coffey has fought for her spot in the league. Ania has dealt with every type of change. Her team has moved cities. She's been traded, claimed off ravers, and she's been in free agency. So credit Coffey for being mentally tough. Offensive rebound. Here's Greiner. That's basket number two with her third shot. Off to a pass, two for three. Well, with a wingspan of over seven feet and three inches, reiner has got mad length, and she really knows how to use it. Now here's Howard. Quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. Gray with it. She's picked up by Griner. Gray, that's good. Showing great court awareness. Gray has a knack for making the right reads and pick and rolls. Here's Jefferson. Stolen by Jones. Here's the break. Pass to Parker. Soft touch off the glass. Bringing hustle and heart to the court. Parker has become indispensable for her team. Reiner with the ball. Turner a screen. Here's Garassi, and she uses the glass on the layup. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Now here's Jones. And that's a foul called on Jefferson. That's her first foul. And the dream call time here. Well, they want to tinker with the game plan a little bit, and now's the time to do it. Yeah, there was clearly some things going on out there that the coaching staff just wasn't a fan of. Outside Robinson. So she earns a trip to the line. Uh, official saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. And Robinson getting the call because she's not afraid to take initiative. Love when she takes it in hard. First trip to the line for her here. The first one falls. In this league, so many years, the experience Robinson brings to her team is invaluable. Sets a strong example for younger players to follow. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Mercury Trail. And here's Sutton. Pass to Griner. Two minutes remaining. Thank 
knocked in off the glass. Because of Griner's remarkable size and strength, she creates a mismatch against almost every defender. Parker, she is guarded by Griner. Outside Dirt. And the layup's good off the glass. The one to generate more of those shots in tight. Now Sutton. Pass to Sims. To the paint, Coach. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. Teams first. First team. Well, the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs there. Something you struggled with in your career, Tim, but definitely saved the layup with that foul. She's going to have to earn him at the line. First free throw is good. She's off on the second. Atlanta leading. Outside Robinson. Parker, count that one. An intimidating physical presence. Parker is at her strongest playing inside. And how about the rack attack on the mobile one drive? A just tremendous intensity going downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Now here is Sims. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Reiner, good. This game is off to a flying start. Yeah, we're seeing some high-octane offense from both sides. This is much watched basketball. Let's hope they keep it up. Durr with it. She's covered by Sims. Pass to Parker. Over Griner. Off the left rim and out. They depend on her to convert those chances. A lot of times, even with solid defense draped on her. And here's Sutton. Six to shoot. Now Sims. And that misses. That would have put them up. Pass to Robinson. Misses from short range. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Dream out in front. Up by one. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And looking at what we've seen from the dream, what do you guys think? I think so far the difference is the bench play of these teams. Their subs have really packed a punch for them. Now here's Jones. Pass to Billings. Shot clock at six. Elmo shot on the way. And that one hits back iron. Rossi outside. Now Sutton. Pass to Griner. Atlanta foul. Monique Billings. First person to foul. Teams first. First team foul. Checking in for your Phoenix Mercury. Mariah Jefferson. Onion Wade. Diana Tarasi on the wing. Drops in the trade. Well, she's the all-time leader in threes made in league history. You might not want to let Diana Taurasi get off shots from range. Now here's Durr. They set a pick. 
to the middle. Here's Hillman. An easy two points on the layup. You can always depend on her to put that lead pass right on the money. And the Mercury with possession. Pass to Griner. Onion Wade. That's good. And so Brittany Griner gets the assist. Trusting in her shot. Onion Wade ready to train it as soon as she got the feet. Michaela Onyenwere was the 2021 Rookie of the Year, going sixth overall to New York. Michaela excelled during her first year in the Big Apple. Here's Billings. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Four on the clock. Here's Jones for three. And the call will be against the coffee. That is her first foul of the game. First person to foul. Team's first. first team foul. In for the dream. Alicia Gray, Ryan Howard. Phoenix in the lead. Up top to Rossi, guarded by Howard. And the basket by Tarasi. In that rookie season, Anuwede proved she's going to be a force for years to come. For any forward that was coming into the league like Michaela, you need that three-point stroke. And she certainly has it. She plays with incredible intelligence, and it really makes a difference on the court. And the dream call time here. Two minutes now played in this second quarter. Coffee outside. Pass to Hillman. Gray outside. Got it. She's now three for five from the field. How about Gray rising up when challenged by defenders? And that's the mentality coaches love to see. Here's Diana Taurasi from the arc. And again, a Phoenix with the triple. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Now here's Howard looking for her first basket still in this one. From eight. Here's Hillman. Turner grabs the board. Rossi outside. Turner. Brittany Griner, high post. Down low. Yachts good by Tarasi. Enjoy it. He went on. No one scores like Diana Tarasi. She has the most 20 plus point seasons in league history. Now here's Howard. Pass to Gray. They set the screen. Now Hillman. Well-timed pass and goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Just like the coaches drew it up. Easy hoop. Gray with the perfect beat. Rossi outside. Here's Schreiner. And that one good. They've been playing very smart offensively in the first half. I think that's safe to say. The numbers support that. They're shooting much better percentage from the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. Now here's Gray. Six points for her. Pass to Jones. Gray. To Howard. Clock at four. Launches a three. It's rebounded by Phoenix. Jefferson with it. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Now on Yenwede. Tarasi guarded by Howard. Turner is screen. Three, Diana Tarasi. And it's going to be a 24 second violation. They'll turn it over. Substitution for Atlanta. Cheyenne Parker. The dream trail. And the dream call time here. It's been quite a game for Diana Taurasi. She just keeps drilling the big shots. They got to design a way to get the ball out of her hands. So 
here is Atlanta. Gray left side. Jones. Pass to Howard. Now here's Gray. Just five to shoot. Here's Jones. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Mercury. And the Mercury with possession. Pass to Turner. Reiner. Jefferson outside. Reiner. Parker defending. Out to the left wing. Jefferson no good. That's a shot she's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. outside. Pass to Howard. Back to Jones. Gray. The dream again can't hit. Jefferson outside. Rossi outside. Reiner with the screen. Mercury with another miss. Before the 2021 season, the Dream had an ownership change. A welcome fresh start for Atlanta. Pass to Coffee. And here's Parker. Gray outside. Shot to stop the drought. And it's good on the layup. And interestingly enough, an ex-player is part of the new ownership group in Atlanta. Yeah, that's something I'd like to see more of going forward. Former players getting a chance to own teams. I think it would help the communication between the current roster and management. Pass to Jefferson. Reiner with the ball. Over Parker from 13 feet. Down it goes. She is definitely making her presence felt here in the first half, shooting it so efficiently. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. Gray with it. Over on Yunwede. And it's Alicia Gray again missing. Phoenix in the lead. Pass to Tarasi. Turner a screen. Now here's Jefferson. The basket good off the assist from Diana Taurasi. There's no excuse for leaving a shooter like her open beyond the arc. None. Jones outside. Here's Gray. Onion Wade covering. On the wing, Alicia Gray. She's got eight. Here's Howard. Missed inside. Here's Onion Wade. Pass to Turner. Reiner with the ball. To Rossi. Gray defending. Goes up on the wing. Here's Reiner. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. And offensive glass getting it done. Lighting it up again. Reiner led the WNBA in scoring for a reason. She's expanded her offensive game. Now here's Jones. To halt the run. Bangs home the trifecta. That's a heads up play right there, guys. Not just on the assist, but also on the finish. To the inside, Reiner. Count it. And she's now eight of nine from the field. She's made the most of her chances, hasn't she? She needs to keep on working to get these good looks. Now here is Howard. She's covered by Tarasi. Outside Howard. Over Griner. A shot by Howard, no good. And so we've reached the end of the first half of the play. It's the Mercury up by 12. And we will see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball in just a bit.
It's been a one-sided affair through the first two quarters. Time to mount a comeback. And you know, Griner has been really making it happen here. He played a very smart game offensively, looking for and finding gaps in the defense and always looking for the best shot possible. Yeah, the way she played that first half, well, that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about being efficient on offense. Getting back to the action now, it's been a one-team show so far, but we'll see if that changes. Coffee outside. Gray. Parker with the screen. Down low. It's stolen by Griner. And here's Karasi. Three-pointer. Tries again. And there's a nice layup by Griner. Not afraid to play rough and rugged. Griner shows the ability to power through contact. Jones outside. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Parker with the screen. Alicia Gray, Alicia and that's Gray. good. Over the last few seasons, the average salary of WNBA players has significantly risen. The average salary in 2022, it's more than the maximum salary in 2017, just five years earlier, which is a great, great sign for the league. That's key for many reasons. The less players that go overseas, the less injuries we will see. And that starts with salaries in the WNBA. Here's Jefferson. A rebound by Ryan Howard. And Atlanta has possession. 11-point game. Third quarter of basketball, we're about one and a half minutes in. Gray outside. That's good, and it's Ryan Howard with the assist. A younger player who loves to learn and loves to improve. I don't think it's crazy to say that Gray will be unstoppable when she develops a consistent long ball. Now here's Turner. Pass to Jefferson. Reiner, Parker defending. Back to Jefferson. Shoots the three. Here's Reiner. Jefferson, Turner. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. A great offensive rebounder because of her awareness and effort. I'm impressed with Turner. Here's Howard. Pass to Parker. Gray. Back to Parker. Here's Jones. Off the mark there with the three. Right side. Rossi with it. Now on your way day. Let's it go from deep. A rebound by Gray. The dream on offense. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have passed. Pass to Jones. Howard, she's covered by Tarasi. Here's Gray. The three-pointer off the mark. Now here's Onion Wade. Tarasi. Reiner with the ball. Parker defending. It's good. It's a one-man show out there, guys. Looks like she's willing to handle all the offensive duties for them. When we talk defensive impact, no player affects a game like Brittany Reiner. Quite simply, the best defender in WNBA history. Now here's Gray. 14 points for her. Here's Howard. Basket is good. The assist from Alicia Gray. That's a great shot from Howard. She's out here to score as much as possible. A perennial all-defensive team member. Griner is the ultimate rim protector. 
Well, you have 6'9 height, 7'4 wingspan, incredible motor, and a tremendous defensive IQ. All of that shows up in Brittany's block numbers. And now a timeout called by Phoenix. Robinson there, guiding that ball into the hoop, not allowing the taller players in the lane to swat it away. And here's Onion Wade. Pass to Sutton. From deep. Green with the rebound. And here's Billings. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Now here's Durr. Outside Robinson. The 11-footer. Turner grabs the board. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assist. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively too. Now here's Onion Wade. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. More than happy to mix it up inside. Onion Wade, a, a physical big. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Now here's Robinson. He's guarded closely. Now Hillman. From deep three-point range. And they turn it over. 24-second buzzer signaling the shot clock violation. Number 30, six. And they've built a very nice lead. No signs of uh, slowing down, at least as far as I can tell. Timeout called the Mercury. Here's Sutton. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Now here's Onion Wade. Top of the key. And a kind roll that time on the rim as that one falls in. Two minutes remaining. Robinson with the ball. Outside dirt. They set the pick. Here's the three. Sinks the triple. I mean, the only explanation is someone must have gotten their signals crossed if she winds up that wide open in three-point range. And I'm sure that was not the plan. In terms of the history of the Atlanta Dream, they went 4-30 and 30 in their expansion season back in 2008. However, the good news, they won the lottery for the 2009 draft. And winning that 2009 lottery meant that the Dream could select Angel McCautry with the first overall pick. Yeah, Angel helped turn things around quick in the ATL. In her first season, the Dream went to the playoffs. In her second season, Atlanta was in the WNBA Finals. McCautry really is the greatest player in Dream history. The first free throw is good. 
after suffering a torn ACL in college, I'm excited to see what Turner has in store for her WNBA career. So she gets them both. And so here's Atlanta. They trail by 14. Pass to Billings. Here's Durr. Now here is Robinson. Five on the clock. And it's Sims with the foul. That is her first foul of the game. Robinson. Five to shoot to the paint and stolen by Brittany Griner. That's a tough pass to make when the defense is so enforced in the low post. Left side Sims. Pass to Sutton. Back to Sims. From beyond the arc. And it's Billings with the rebound. Hillman. Outside Durr. They set the pick. Over Sims. A nice shot by Durr. She's really maybe the only thing that stood out for them today, and she's kept her edge even as they're trailing. And here's Sutton. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Sims. Turner. Reiner with the ball. Here's Sutton. The three-pointer, no good. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Mercury out in front. They lead by 12. And coming up as soon as we return from the break, the fourth quarter gets... And thanks again for joining us. We'll see what happens in the fourth. Tarasi on the wing. To the middle. Pass to Turner. Six to shoot. Now Sutton. Turner with the ball. Vader on the way. Here's Greiner. Off on the layup. Gray outside. outside. Durr. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. I tell you, she loves getting looks like that from three-point range. Just nobody near her. The drive by Diana Tarasi gets that one through the hole and makes her 7 for 13 this game. Taking it to the hoop, how many times has Diana Tarasi done that? Probably more than anybody in WNBA history. Parker with the screen. Steps back and shoots. And again, the dream score. He made that mismatch pay off. A defender giving up that many inches isn't going to be able to put up much resistance near the hoop. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. Well, it's all about breaking the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Here's Reiner. Nails the baby hook. Well, they built this lead through plays exactly like that. She's easily been the most consistent performer. No question about that. I mean, she's just hitting everything in sight. Inside, tipped. It's stolen by Turner. And up the court come the Mercury on the break. Rossi with it. Gray picks her up. Pass to Sutton. Tarasi. It's not going to go for her. Iso, Iso. Yo, yo, yo. Iso, Iso. 
Now Jones. Billings. She is guarded by Greiner. Gray outside. Parker with the screen. Just five on the clock. Kicks it out to Jones. From deep. No good. Their rebounding has been a big key to their success in this game. It really has been a completely one-sided battle on the boards. Pass to Greiner. Over Parker. Greiner, no good. Now here's Gray. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter now. Left side dirt. Parker with the screen. Tries from 10. And that one goes long. Well, for what's a routine shot, she looked a little nervous on that release, would you say? Reiner, shot's good. He's carrying a lot of the load offensively, and normally that's good news for them. And here are the dream. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Here's Jones. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. That one on Turner. Over the years, we've seen rules and format changes adopted by the WNBA that eventually end up in the NBA. Yeah, the W is really ahead of the NBA in those respects. How about the play-in tournament that we've seen that everyone loves in the NBA? It was inspired by the old WNBA playoff format. Lots of talk about, you know, maybe a mid-season NBA tournament, very similar to the Commissioner's Cup as well. The WNBA always at the cutting edge when it comes to pro basketball. Both teams deciding to change it up. So she hits both of them. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Rossi outside. And she finishes nicely on the layup. Follow Karasi. I mean, double team her, trap her, anything. You can't let her score off the pick and roll. Jones inside. She's covered by Jefferson. Yes, it's good. Rossi with it. Turner a screen. Pass to Jefferson. Watches it. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Give her credit. She was in perfect position to grab that rebound and get the putback. Outside. To the inside. Gray up top. Howard. Five to shoot. Parker with the screen. Kicks it out to Jones. Takes the three. Kept alive by Atlanta. Here's Billings. Finds the bottom of the bucket from about 13 feet out. And the Mercury with possession. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Reiner, Parker defending. So she gets the whistle, contact on the way up. Two shots, neck. An elite athlete for a player of her build. Reiner's willing to battle on the interior. Phoenix Mercury, Brittany Greiner, taking two shots. And the first one drops. You know, Brittany Griner is a tremendously accomplished player. She, she's won basically every award you can in this league. But you can also tell that she still comes to the game so hungry, still wants to accomplish more. She hits both from the strike. Here's Gray. Pass to Parker. Jones outside. Out to Gray. 
And here is Howard. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep. It's rebounded by Phoenix. Now sometimes you just want to show off your range. I mean, we already know how good her range is. So I don't know why she's firing from that deep. That's incredibly poor defensive awareness. She's one player you don't want to give up any space to. Atlanta calls timeout. Down low. And that yeah. one's good. Coffee. coffee. Well, that's yes. where coffee can do the I'm most damage. Great. When she's working inside, she has a deep bag. Fast on you and To the paint. Liner. She used that big to get in close. Yeah. Rugged screen set there, and the defense didn't even Second try to fight ball. through it. Possession. It's a 16 point game. Coffee outside. Pass to Parker. Gray. Now Jones. Basket is good. The assist from Alicia Gray. Well, over her time in the league as she has developed, Gray's made a serious effort to increase her assist totals. It's worked. Ball's knocked loose. And here is Howard. Shoots from 12. And again, the dream score. Tough distance, but you know what? Howard can hit it with ease. With the prospect of making a big lead even bigger. They should jump at this chance. Stretch that lead out as much as possible. Now to Rossi. Cheyenne Parker with the block. Well, long arms and top-notch awareness make Parker the quality shot blocker she is. Here's Griner, just four to shoot. Puts up a three. A rebound by Gray. Well, most games she can hit from deep, but this game, it's not there for her. Poppy, no good. Phoenix with the ball. Jefferson outside. Pass to Greiner. Over Parker. Greiner. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Hard fought bucket there. Nice put back. Outside Howard. Puts it up from 12. Jefferson outside. Pass to Onion Wade. Six on the shot clock. To Rossi. Jefferson outside. And the three off target. Yeah, the great shooters, they know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice there. Yeah, not very good defensive coverage that time. The D got lucky. 
No problem absorbing the bump right there. Howard maintained focus and got the shot to fall. About three seconds between the shot clock and game clock. They double team Brittany Griner. Onion Wade. Pass to Jefferson. Rebounded by Parker. So it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. And some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. You gotta defend your home floor. They really seem to revel in confidence. Uh, this is what they came out to do here. And that'll wrap it up. 